Welcome to this rocket class uh, today. My name is Arianna. So just meet me um, in any comfortable seated position. You can sit on your heels. You can sit on a block. You can sit uh, cross legs. If you are following us from home, please, if you don't mind to turn your camera on, if you don't mind so I can maybe spot you or help you. Hello. I can say just hello. It's nice to see a face. Um, we're going to start by just breathing together. Today, we are going to try um, this uh, type of breathing. We are going to inhale, exhale a few times. And then we are going to try to breathe twice on the inhale. So inhale one, inhale two, like a really deep inhale, and the long exhale out of the mouth. So we start uh, just with, um, and we were going to do it like a set of 10 times. So like one set 10 times. It's a very relaxing and grounding uh, type of breathing that you can use in any time on your day if you're very busy if you're stressed so anyway we're gonna start by chin keeping our chin parallel to the ground so keeping it if you are sitting like a nice and tall so your spine is tall you're not crunching forward you're not going backwards taking a deep inhale from the nose and exhale it all out of the mouth let it go inhale one and exhale one inhale one exhale one all out deep inhale and deep exhale <sighs> inhale exhale out and we begin inhale one inhale two long exhale out of the mouth Inhale one, double inhale for a count of two, and exhale out. Inhale, inhale, long exhale out of the mouth. Inhale, inhale, long exhale. Inhale, inhale, long exhale. Inhale, inhale, and exhale it all out. Three more times. Inhale, inhale, long exhale, all the way out, <sighs> empty back. Inhale, inhale, exhale it all out. One more time. Inhale, inhale, long exhale out. <sighs> And then take a deep inhale, deep exhale, let it go. Inhale and exhale it out. Drawing the hands at the heart center, bowing your head towards your heart. From here, make an intention for, on to, for today. Maybe practicing for yourself is if it's self-love that you need to give yourself a little bit more every day. Or maybe practicing for somebody that you deeply love. And it always has your back, no matter how good your day is going, how not so good your day is going. You have that one special person always that always is there to cheer you up and uh, be your friend. One um, inhale. Oh. And then opening the eyes in here, start to, if you are seated, maybe coming on your uh, heels, just bringing the knees a little bit to, um, like a, a little bit more distance between one another. Tuck your chin to the chest and then opening your elbows, dive your head down like you are waving. Inhale, gazing up, gaze up and back. And then tucking the chin to the chest. Again, the head is going down, gazing forward gazing up and back tucking the chin to the chest is the head that is driving the movement in this wave where you're just going to forth up and back if you want to close your eyes trying to really find upper back middle back and lower back here moving and again your hands can be on the ground your hands can be on your thighs for five Four, down, fourth, 
and up and back always stuck in the chin to the chest so the head is the first one that goes towards the ground and there is the first one that lift for three two and one and then on the next one we are going to meet again by sitting we are gazing up and this time is the chest that drives is going down we are collapsing the chest down tuck the chin to the chest and round the upper back like you want to lean back lift the gaze up chest down and again Tuck the chin to the chest, moving back, and lift up. And again, finding some movement to your spine, something that feels good, doesn't have to look any specific way, really. It's just a, an indication here for five, four, three, two, and one. And on the next one, find yourself uh, on an all four position. Tuck the toes under, gaze up on the inhale. Extend the legs, gaze in between your legs. Exhale. Inhale. You can tap the knees down, bending the knees, or you can hover the knees just off the ground. Gaze forward. Exhale. Extend. Gaze back. Inhale. Knees down or hovering. Gaze forward. Exhale. Extend. Gaze back. Five more times. Inhale. Look up. Bend the knees. Exhale, extend, look back. Inhale, forth, look up, bend the knees. Exhale, extend, find the back of the legs. Three more times. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, extend. Two more times. Inhale, hovering, if possible, placing the weight on your hands. Exhale, extend. One more time. Inhale, and exhale, downward facing dog. Any movement into your down dog, bending and extending one leg at a time, maybe both, maybe both feet landing on one side, bending deeply the knees, sending the hips laterally, and then up and onto the other side. Any movement with the head, shaking your head, saying yes, shaking your head, saying no. Take a deep inhale, ha, exhale it out. Walking your hands all the way towards your tippy toes to the back of the mat. Grow tall, inhale, standing into mountain, bring the hands over the head and back. Exhale, forward, bend into your Uttanasana. Walking forward into a plank position. Hold your plank, tuck your belly button in, don't collapse with the lower back, holding five, four, three, two, one, walk all the way back, all the way back, few more times, inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, and find your plank position in here, holding into your plank, once you're into your plank, for 500, who's listening, 499, I'm joking, 3, 2, 1, walk your hands back to your feet, inhale, grow to last time, arms up and back, take a big stretch, exhale, forward, find your plank position, hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and a half, 2, 1, knees, chest, chin down in here, inhale, baby cobra, lift the chest, squeeze the glutes, exhale, sit back into your child pose, one breath in child, inhale, exhale in child, curl the toes under, send the hips up and back, down dog, inhale, 3, exhale, 3, inhale, 2, exhale, 2, one more inhale, one more exhale, gaze forward, one step or multiple step top of the mat halfway leave Ardha Uttanasana when you arrive exhale bend the knees forward fold inhale mountain hands over the head stretch up and back exhale fold all the way down halfway lift inhale hands to the ground step it back into your plank solid plank inhale knees chest chin down in here inhale baby cobra lift the chest squeeze the glutes exhale child sit back on your heels. Inhale one, exhale one. Inhale, prepare your down dog. Exhale, you arrive. Three more breaths in this down dog. Inhale three, 
exhale three, inhale two, exhale two, one more inhale, one more exhale, kissing forward, one step forward or multiple step, the other foot forward, halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward fold, inhale, standing mountain, hands over the head, stretch up and back, exhale, all the way down, Uttanasana, halfway lift, grow tall, hands to the ground, step it back into your plank, Press on the tippy toes, pushing the weight forward, and then knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, elbows in, into your baby cobra, lift the chest, exhale, sit back, child pose. Inhale, one, exhale, one. Inhale, down dog, exhale, you arrive, three breaths. Inhaling, three. Exhale, three. Feet can be two together, feet can be separate, hip width distance apart. You decide, okay? Inhale, two. Exhale, two. One more inhale, one more exhale. Gazing forward, making your way towards the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, Forward fold, inhale, mountain, hands over the head, exhale, samastiti, hands at the heart, deeply bend your knees, uktatasana, chair position, arms alongside the ears, forward fold, uttanasana, halfway lift, inhale, hands to the ground, step or jump back into your plank, solid plank, inhale, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga, exhale, inhale, up dog, opening the chest or baby cobra, exhale, downward facing dog, Lifting the right leg nice and high. Right foot forward, left foot down. Warrior one, bend your right knee. Inhale, inhale, you come up. Exhale, plank here. Inhale, hold. Exhale, chin, chin, chin chest, chin, chest. Oh, she's getting confused. Up dog, inhale, or chaturanga. Down dog, exhale. So you can do knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga every time. Left leg up to the ceiling, inhale. Left foot forward, right foot down. Warrior one, bend the front knee. Inhale, you come all the way up. Exhale, all the way down, taking you back into your plank. Again, chaturanga, knees, chest, chin, or nada. Okay, even down dog directly. Down dog, we meet in down dog for three. Exhale, three. Inhale, two. Exhale, two. One more inhale, one more exhale. So this time on your way forward to the mat, you can step, you can take a little hop, you can handstand forward as well. Coming towards the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift when you're there. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Into your chair. Uttanasana chair position. Forward bend, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to the ground, step it back, hands stand it back or jump it back, plank. Knees, chest, chin or chaturanga vinyasa. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. So take your time if you're doing the version, you can take your time, you don't have to do all the chaturangas, you are absolutely choosing, you want to wait in down dog for three breaths, you want to wait in child pose, this is always your practice, holding here, one more breath, inhale one, exhale one, right leg up to the ceiling, inhale, right foot forward, left foot one, warrior one, inhale, come all the way up, exhale, exhale, plank, step your right foot back, knees, chest, chin or your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg lift, inhale. Left foot forward, right foot down, warrior one. Inhale, inhale. Exhale, plank. Step it back. Inhale, hold. Exhale, vinyasa. Knees, chest, chin or down dog. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. Gazing forward, Again, bend the knees, you can step, jump forward, handstand, press forward, you decide. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward bend, Uttanasana. Inhale, come into the chair, Uttanasana, and exhale, forward bend, sorry, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, inhale, from here, step it back, take it back in the way you want to. Plank, knees, chest, chin, inversion, you decide, and we meet in downward facing dog when everyone is ready. Up dog, inhale, 
down dog, exhale, right leg up to the ceiling, inhale, right foot forward, left foot one, warrior one, inhale, inhale, come up, exhale, exhale, plank, again, if you're doing lots of inversion and you want to skip the chaturanga part, of course you do, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale, left leg up, inhale, plant the right foot down, warrior one, inhale, inhale, lifting yourself up, exhale, exhale, lower yourself, stepping the left leg back, plank, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale, inhale, three, exhale, three, inhale, two, Exhale, two. Can we do one more time? Inhale, one. Exhale, one. From here, gazing forward, you can stand forward or stepping forward or press forward, top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, bend the knees, Uktatasana, into the chair, nice. Exhale, forward fall, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to the ground, make your way back into your plank. Knees, chest, chin, chaturanga, vinyasana, vinyasa. Take your time into going through this movement, okay? Inhale, breathing, exhale, nice. <laughs> right leg up to the ceiling, inhale, right foot forward, left foot down, last warrior one, inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, plank, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga, or nada, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale, left leg up to the ceiling, inhale, right foot down, inhale, inhale, this is it guys, finish the end of the warm up, coming all the way down, all the way down, Plank, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. And when we arrive into that down dog, we are going to take a deep inhale and big exhale. Ha! Ah, oh la la, out of the mouth. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, two. One more, inhale, one more, exhale. Okay, so if you wanna make your way to the front of the mat by handstanding, kicking up or pressing, or stepping forward, top of the mat, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, Uktatasana, chair position, arms alongside the ears, knees can be together or separate in here, holding here, three, sitting nice and low, exhale, three. Imagine I'm behind you and you want to sit on my lap. Inhale, two. Exhale, two. Palms can be together or hands can be separate. One more inhale, one more exhale. Interlace your fingers, press the palms forward, Ardha Uktatasana, chin to the chest, maybe lifting the toes off the ground or maybe lifting the heels off the ground if you want to, okay? Any variation of this half chair, keeping the chest parallel to the ground, tuck the chin to the chest and hold, use your legs holding two more breaths, inhale two, exhale two, one more, inhale, one more, exhale, plant the hands down, knees outside the triceps, bakasana, crow position, squeeze the knees in, gazing forward, lean and uh, Resist the fall, so resist the head going down, point the toes so those heels are coming close towards your, um, towards your hips and you're flying in here into your Bakasana crow pose for five, four, three, two, one, and you're taking your time to step and jumping back into your plank. Vinyasa, no vinyasa, you decide, okay? We meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, ha. Inhale, exhale, ha. Right leg up to the ceiling, inhale. Right foot forward from here, warrior lunge. So both tippy toes pointing towards of the right foot and the left foot facing forward. Lean forward, find your standing splits. Left leg lift in here. Three breaths in your standing splits. You can Kick up to handstand, you can stay here, you can catch, you can place the hands on the top of the blocks, you can catch the standing legs with uh, one hand or two hands, any variation of standing splits, uh, holding three, exhale, three, inhale, two, 
exhale two one more inhale one more exhale from standing place splits bringing your chest parallel to the ground find your warrior three for a moment so leave the arms alongside the body and then position your right hand on the block on the right hand side further away from your right foot left arm up left leg up find your half moon Ardha Chandrasana in here you can bend and extend the left leg you can keep moving if you want you can bend and carry into Chapasana in here or you can just stay into your Ardha Chandrasana. Notice if your neck is not happy to look up or forward you can look down. Three breaths in here. Inhaling three. Exhale three. Inhale two. Well done. Exhale two. One more. Inhale. One more. Exhale. Can you release the left and down and find your standing splits again here. So we reposition the hips on the standing splits. We change hand, left hand down on the ground or on the block, right arm up. We're squeezing the inner thighs together and finding our Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana, our revolved half moon. Three breaths in here. Inhaling three. Gazing towards the right hand side. Exhale three. Inhale two. Exhale two. One more inhale, one more exhale. Can you release the left foot down and find your warrior two? Right knee bent, left leg extending here. Wonderful. Extended side angle. Right forearm can be, right elbow can be on the right thigh. Any variation that you guys like. This can be one variation, left arm up and over. My right hand can be on the block on the inside of the right inner thigh. Or my arms can be extended forward. So if my arms are extended forward, I'm really tackling on this obliques, this side core. I'm gazing under the left armpit. I want to feel this extension whoosh on the left hand side of the torso in here. You gaze up or down, you decide. One more inhale here. One more exhale. Inhale brings you back into your warrior two. Interlace your hands behind. Gaze up. Lift up the chest. And then on the exhalation, humble your warrior. If your hands don't want to be interlaced, your palm can face one another. Really bringing the head down by bending the front leg and releasing your head like it's super heavy. Two more breaths. Inhaling two. Exhale two. One more. Inhale. Breathing, breathing. One more exhale. Frame the front foot, pivot the back foot facing forward, left knee down. Find Anjaniasana, any Kapyasana, Anjaniasana that you like, especially for your hands. Maybe your fingertips want to be behind your head. Maybe your arms want to be in a cactus or fully extended if you have space or interlace behind, okay? Anyone with a, every single arm position that your specific body thrives on leaning forward feeling the left thigh almost like kissing the ground two more breath inhale breathing exhale mm -hmm. one more inhale one more exhale in your own time you are coming back to neutral bringing the hands at the heart Twisting to the right hand side. The left knee can be down. Left leg can be extended. You can stay here. You can lean forward and lift the left leg off the ground. Three breaths in your choice of this twisted side angle in here for three. Exhale three. Looking amazing at home as well. Wow, amazing, guys. Well done, Lizzie. Inhale two. Exhale two. One more, inhale, one more, exhale. From here, step the left foot back, play, bringing the hands down, step the right foot back, plank, knees, chest, chin down, vinyasa, chaturanga, or nada. Can be child pose, can be down dog. If you are on down dog, we are going to bring the knees down, forearms on the ground my forearms are separate my hands are separate i can hold the block just in between my index fingers and my thumb or i can hold the block with on the long side with my fingertips and the thumbs up i position my forearms down and i extend my legs i can gaze in the space in between my feet i can stay so my neck is released or i can bring my knees closer to my chest in here i can lift one leg up i can stay here i can come up into my pincha mariwasana any leg position that i want to make i either 
either stay and hold and create some kind of strength or I balance, I walk forward with my tippy toes and I want to reach close to my chest so there is less space in between my feet and my arms in here. Mm -hmm. And then we can switch on the opposite leg. So the right leg was up, maybe the left leg is up now. Nice. And when you are ready, you're coming down into your child pose. When you're ready, Ha! Ah, inhale, exhale. Breathing in and breathing out. Is everyone feeling good? Give me a thumb up if yes, give me a thumb down if no. I see no thumb going down, downward facing dog, amazing guys. Well done. Left leg, left leg lift, inhale. Left foot forward, both tippy toes pointing forward, lunging here, inhale. And exhale, hands down, standing splits, right leg up to the ceiling, into your standing splits, your Handstand kick up or just your balance. Three breath. Holding three. Exhale three. Well done. Inhaling two. Exhale two. I'm counting nice and slow. Inhale one and a half. Exhale one and a half. Inhale zero. <laughs> no more. Exhale. If you are on a handstand, come back with us and find your warrior three for a moment in here. Take your arms away from the ground and then position your left hand on the block, maybe positioning the block further away. So the block is a full extension of your hand and you can kick this right leg up, finding your Ardha Chandrasana half moon in here. can become a moving Ardha Chandrasana by bending and extending the right leg. So really working on that strength of the right leg or can be a, I catch my own right the inside of my right foot or the top of my right foot into my chapasana holding two more breath. Inhale two, exhale two. Is here. I can see it. Is there? Oh, yes, you got it. So we have to stay here for more, two more breaths, guys. Sorry. One more. There is a success story on the <laughs> chapasana. Well done. And then coming back into your standing splits in here, placing the hands down on the block. Then the right hand stays on the right. Uh, on the on the right block i'm twisting towards the left hand side if i can squeeze my inner thighs together maybe they balance me more maybe they don't maybe you are very open in your torso and you can twist without having to do that so always explore your body see where it can go see what it feels good to you one more inhale one more exhale warrior two step your right foot back ah, well done guys extended side angle left elbow on the left side separate your feet, right arm up and over, left hand on the block can be on the inside of the left leg or the outside of the left foot can be my arms are extending forward and again I'm working the side core in here on the right hand side holding two exhale two oh guys you look amazing what a beautiful class one more inhale one more exhale so strong warrior two interlace your hands behind lift the chest lift the gaze and then humble your warrior allowing your head to be super heavy here three breath in here think about if you were wearing like some very very heavy extensions or a very very heavy wig that drags you down you can't resist by looking towards your belly button or through your legs and then release your hands to frame the front foot right knee down find your kapyasana find your chest opening really coming off from the right knee in here you can double pad underneath the right knee any arm position that makes you thrive that creates more opening in the chest that doesn't crank the neck in here holding three exhale three inhale two exhale two 
One more, inhale, one more, exhale. On the next inhale, prepare to come back into neutral hands at the heart. Find your twisted side angle. Right knee can be down, right leg can be extended, or I'm gazing forward, lifting the right leg off the ground into a balance. So you can always use the progression, the regression, to suit like how your body feels today. You know, today you feel like you want to stay with the right knee down, you just do so, okay? You want to stay higher, you do. Right side, left side is different, you decide. One more inhale, one more exhale. Position your right knee down. Frame the front foot, step the left foot back. Plank, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. No vinyasa can be even a child pose, okay? We meet in child pose anyway. So if you want to come up to your down dog and then lower yourself down, stretch all the way back, all the way back in here. Mm-hmm. I would like for the next pincher just to prepare a little bit and just trying this. Bringing the right knee to the right hand. I can't resist this. Bringing the right knee to the right hand. Take your pigeon position in here and then bring your right arm to the left hand side. Bring it all the way to the right. Lift the left arm up and back. Extend the legs and then bend the right knee. Bring the right arm forward. So I show you from here. I'm in my pigeon pose. I'm searching with my right hand forth, left, forth, right. And I'm extending Extending my legs, lifting up, left arm up and over. And then we're going to do two more, and then we do our Pinchamaryu Asana. But in between these, for three and down, for three, for two, right and down, left arm up and back, extending the legs, and for one. On the next one, we stay and we are into an open triangle for three breaths. Exhale, three, really extending this right leg. Your weight is distributed on your right arm, right shoulder on the top of the right hand always. Extended right leg is pressing down, left hand is down, and then coming back into your downward facing dog in here. Inhale. Ha, exhale, left knee forward, right leg extended into your pigeon position. This time your left arm is going to the right hand side, is going forward, is going to the left, and I'm lifting my chest up because we've done so many forward fold, guys. We're going to break it down with some chest opening, left arm forth to the right, to the left, and coming all the way up for three going down into your pigeon again, searching with the left arm to the side, forward, planting it down and up for two. And then on the next one, we stay into that uh, open triangle, fallen triangle, lifting up, opening for five, four, three, two, one, hands down, step it back into your plank, child pose, sit back, sit back. Walking your hands towards your knees, curl your toes under in here, sitting back on your heels, hands on the top of the heels, I want to trust Trust my hips forward and I keep gazing down towards my waist. I press the hips forward, forward, forward. I open my chest and I'm coming into this camel holding here. Three breaths. Inhaling, three. Exhale, three. Inhale, two. And exhale, two. One more. Inhale, gazing up, gazing forward, gazing back, and exhale. And now sitting back on the heels, close your eyes for a second, inhale one, inhale two, exhale, ha. inhale one, only three times more. Inhale two, exhale, exhale out, inhale one, Inhale two, exhale, exhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale one, 
inhale two, exhale, exhale, exhale. From here, really bringing the elbows down closer to your knees so you're already there, lifting the hips up so you're not too far away, walking forward, finding your pincha mariwasana or finding one leg extended, but keep the distance between the knees and the elbows close so then you have already your hip position on the top of your shoulder. Yes, use more this one, nice. Nice, guys. Well done. And then bend the knees, lower yourself, gently resist the fall. Well done. I come and help you. Yes. And of course, when you are done, child pose, eh? Anytime you want. Mm -hmm. Now keep the legs together from here. Beautiful. Nice. Bend the knees together. Bend the knees together, bring the knees to the chest. Keep the hips where they are, knees to the chest, slowly, slowly. Well done. <laughs> Inhale. Ah, in your own time. Child pose. Exhale. Inhale two. Exhale two in here. One more. Inhale. One more, exhale. Downward facing dog when you are ready, guys. Gazing forward, making your way forward, top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, Uktatasana, and then standing tall into your Tadasana. Bringing the right knee to the chest. You can interlace your hands underneath your right thigh. You can extend or bend, keeping a spine nice and long. You can catch your right big toe, left hand, wherever it, su it suits you in order to keep balance on the hip alongside the ear, alongside the body, and then extending the right leg. You can come halfway in a way or all the way, or you can use your mobility and just hold here. Three breaths where you choose to be. Inhaling, three. Exhale, three. Inhale, two. <laughs> He's the wall. Like, <laughs> exhale, two. So you can stay, yes. One more. Inhale. One more. Exhale. Bend the knees. Bring the right knee to the chest. Utita B. Open to the right hand side. You can catch just by the side of the knee in here. You can hold without hands. You can catch the right big toe or the inside of the right leg. Three breaths in here. Inhaling, three. Exhale, three. Inhale, two. Exhale, two. One more inhale. One more exhale. Release. Bring the right knee to the chest. Left hand outside the right thigh or the right foot. Right arm alongside the right here. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist yourself to the right hand side in here. Extending the right leg forward if you want. Holding three breath. Inhale, three. Exhale, three. Inhale two, exhale two. One more inhale, one more exhale, release. Now stepping on the long side of the mat, toes in, heels out. We do this one and then, and then after the, uh, the left hand side, hands on the hips, inhale, gaze up. Heels out, toes in like pigeon toes, forward folding, prasarita. It can be catching my big toes with my first three fingers on my hands, can be catching the outside of my feet or past Palms down, head down. Obviously, from here, tripod headstand, tripod headstand into side crow or press on handstand or kick up into handstand. You decide, okay? Holding three. Exhale three. Can be also pressing to pinch your hands. Try to put them, yes, in here. Well done. And then lean forward. Mm -hmm. Press on the hands. And lift the legs, yes, nice, and up. Bring the heels towards me, yes. So you, your legs are on the top of your head. And then can you open your legs nice and wide? Oh, there is the wall. Then slowly, slowly, there is like a corner of the wall there. <laughs> nice, inhale, exhale in here. Well done, guys. One more inhale, 
One more exhale. So if you are up, coming down, and then if you are down, bringing the hands on the hips, coming all the way up, interlace your hands behind, lift your chest, lift your gaze, and then release, step forward at the top of your mat. Bring the right knee to the chest. Again, you can interlace their hands underneath. You can use it as a support. You can bend and extend. You can use the wall as well. You can take the wall on the right hand side and just help you to keep a spine nice and long. You can catch the big toe. You can just hold on. You can just, um, sorry, work on your mobility without actually touching your foot in here. So just by holding. So see what you need to work on, maybe more on flexibility or maybe more on mobility. Few more breaths in here. Inhaling and exhale. One more. Inhale exhale well done bring the left knee to the chest and open to the left hand side if you need to readjust with the feet and place your left foot down absolutely at any time you can readjust you can catch the left big toe the inside of the left foot this arm does whatever you it needs to do to keep in balance so if it's parallel to the ground if it's on the hip the right hand alongside the right ear or alongside the body you choose two more breaths inhale two Exhale, two. One more inhale, one more exhale, release. Bring the left knee to the chest, right hand outside the left thigh, left arm alongside the left ear, or right hand can be outside the left foot, and we're twisting towards the back, gazing towards the back, towards your left hand side, extending the left arm in here, three. Exhale, three. Inhale, two. Exhale, two. One more inhale, one more exhale. Coming back to center, release. Take a big step on the long side of the mat. In here this time, we are finding our goddess. Toes out, heels in. Take a really big sumo squat in here. Hands behind the back, stay nice and tall and sit all towards the ground. So really sitting nice and low. Keep pressing the knees out gently, obviously, and readjust your heels in. You're standing super tall here with the chest, and you want to feel that you're sitting in between your heels. Two more breaths. Inhale, two. Exhale, two. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, come all the way back, uh, all the way, sorry, up. Extend the legs, and then step your left foot forward. Bend the knees, chair position. Inhale, forward bend, Uttanasana. Halfway lifting. Inhale, you can take a kick up to handstand, you can take a crow transition going back and just using it to jump back. So catching for a moment your crow into your chataranga, up dog and down dog, you decide, okay? And then we meet in downward facing dog. Well done, guys. Inhale, exhale. Ha. From here position your left forearm on the ground and bring the right hand close to just underneath your right shoulder in here. Make sure you're making like a kind of like a 90 degree angle with your right arm and then walk your feet close to that right elbow. So you're here, you can touch your right, the top of your right elbow with your right knee. If you can position it on the top, see if you're leaning forward and you want to gaze towards the left thumb in here. If you can lift the left foot off the ground, you can extend the left leg into your funky pincha mariwasana, and just by sometimes if the, if the right elbow doesn't come to us, we can walk towards it. Keep the energy with the right elbow going in, in here. Mm -hmm. Nice. And see if you can position your knee just right underneath the, just on the top of the right elbow, trying to avoid the triceps because the triceps is a muscle and this is always going to be wobbly <laughs> always wobbly so the best position is just to find it by bending the knee and actually finding the top the there is a kind of like little space that is like a tabletop in here where i can position my knee in here and then i can stay and is in balance and is like a, not so difficult to hold. Doing the right side, the left side, so right forearm down to the ground, left arm is bent into a tripod and then walking towards the left 
arm let's see if we can catch this kind of like funky pinch make sure your hand yeah is there yes and then you want to put it in here on the top there mm -hmm. and then really really like uh, drawing the heels towards the hips so you are pointing 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 all the time <laughs> and then child pose when you want yeah like this is it no more no more no more leave me alone i don't want to do it anymore <laughs> well done guys <laughs> Inhale, ha, ah, exhaling here, inhaling and exhale, drawing the hands towards the knees, coming to your downward facing dog, gazing forward, step, jump forward, top of the mat, halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, chair position, lower yourself all the way back, all the way back, we're going to do just one round of core, Extend the right leg up. You can tuck your chin to your chest. You can gaze forward. You can switch. You can keep your fingertips behind your head. Switch 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we hold the right leg up. Left leg forward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and we switch and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then we release. Bring the knees to the chest. Now, bringing the knees to the chest, bring your elbows on the top of your knees. So, in this position, if you extend the left leg forward, this is your one arm crow, and this is also the position of the knee in, comp in uh, relation to the elbow that you can find the little tabletop uh, position. So you see, like the knee going to the triceps is so much more core engagement there is more space in here when you find it and then switch maybe you can gaze forward switch bend one leg keep the arms as they are and extend the other one ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and in here bring the knees to the elbows gaze forward look at the position where they are remember this position and then release bringing the knees to the chest tuck the chin to your chest rock yourself forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and now land with the right leg forward left foot on the right inner thigh janu a arms alongside the ear you can place a block under your sitting bones you can lean towards that right leg or in the space in between the legs if it feels like nada leaning towards the right leg find the point of tension or where you need to create more space in the body in here holding three breath inhaling three exhale three inhale two exhale two one more inhale one more exhale inhale come all the way up bring the left knee to the chest left arm alongside the left ear grow tall go forward hugging with the left uh, arm the left shin bones maybe taking a bind behind the back into your marichasana in here three breath in here inhaling three exhale three inhaling two forward folding exhale two one more inhale one more exhale inhale come all the way back up so option one is going to be ardha matsya andrasana left uh, uh, foot on the right uh, uh, sorry on the outside of the right thigh right arm pressing towards the left leg to twist you more option two could be a bind option three is we can lean towards the right hand side in here and we can come to our ekapada kundinyasana too sorry i'm trying not to squish the mic but by bending the right leg and then leaning to the right hand side <laughs> yeah the other side so you are turning yourself to the other direction the right hand side yes mm -hmm. perfect inhale <laughs> that is the direction but you have the wall exhale coming all the way back so meanwhile everyone is the rotating on the right hand side the one that did just Arda Matsya Andrasana on the right hand side can de rotate on the on the left hand side can de rotate on the other side if I'm twisting to the left this can become I can bend my right sorry 
I want to turn in a position where everyone can see even at home. So if I go on the left hand side, this can become also my side crow. Boom. In here. Tum. No takers. <laughs> like whatever. <laughs> I lift and I can come into my side crow with the cross legs. <laughs> Just an idea. That's it. That's it. It doesn't have to be done, it's okay. <laughs> and then extend the left leg forward, right foot on the left inner thigh, arms over the head, forward folding to the left leg. It's just when the side crow, we take it from the chair, we have more space, of course, to lean into something. We are higher and we are leaning lower, but when we take it from sitting, it's a little bit more tricky for the legs, especially if you have long legs. Holding for two more breaths. Inhale, two. Exhale, two. One more. Inhale. One more. Exhale. Inhale. Come up. Marichasana A. Right knee to the chest. Right arm alongside the ear. Lean forward. Flip the right palm towards the ceiling, internally rotating your right shoulder. And catch your bind behind. If you're not catching your bind, of course, you can keep your arms extended. Forward folding. Three breaths. Inhaling. Three. Exhale, three. Inhale, two. Exhale, two. One more inhale. One more exhale. Coming up, bringing the right foot outside the left thigh. And in here, we are twisting towards the right hand side. So simple Ardha Matsyandrasana. Or I can lean towards my left hand side. I lift into my Ekapada Kundinyasana, too. Yes. Lean. Nice. <laughs> and then from here, coming back. If you've done an Ardha Matsyandrasana to the right, you're going to derotate to the opposite direction. Otherwise, we can go to the right hand side and finding, I'm actually decided to be on the screen in here <laughs> to find our side crow from here. Mm -hmm. Legs can be crossed, legs can be uncrossed as well. Mm -hmm. Well done, guys. <laughs> well done. And then release, release the legs forward, Paschimottanasana, arms alongside the ears, forward folding in here. Taking the toes, taking the outside of the feet, you decide. And then coming all the way back up, as we were working on the positioning of the one leg crow, bringing the right knee to a bend in here. If you find really hard to sit on the ground, you can place a block underneath the left hip. You can stay here and bring in the left leg towards you holding no holding you can forward bend into your left leg or you can bend the left leg leaning forward left elbow is already there on the top of the left knee lean forward finding your one leg crow okay so you're either forward folding torso to the leg or maybe working on just the strength of the left leg holding here or one leg crow and if you're going to one leg crow, you're coming back into this. <laughs> or holding like, ta-da, <laughs> holding three. <laughs> Exhale three. And if your leg needs uh, help, inhaling two. Exhale two. One more. Inhale. One more. Exhale. And then we will switch it. Right leg forward, left knee bend. You can forward fold to the leg. You can bring the leg with you or the one leg crow coming on the right hand side. <laughs> three breaths. Inhaling three. Yes, Avery. Exhale three. Point the toes. Yes, point both toes. Point, 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 point. Inhale, two, nice. Exhale, two. One more inhale. 
One more exhale, well done. Releasing when you are ready, coming all the way back, finding your bridge position, lifting the hips up. Arms can be alongside the ears, arms can be inter hands can be interlaced underneath uh, your hips. Uh, lifting. Let's put something that otherwise for the next five minutes is just for back pain. Nice. In here you can stay, you can bring your hands at the base uh, in here of your um, of your spine. You can lift even higher, even higher. You can create a little tabletop with your hands, making sure the elbows are going towards one another. You can lift one leg up, you can lift the other one up. You can come into a normal shoulder stand from there, yes. Well done, guys. Into your full shoulder stand. Or if you are onto your bridge position, you can also lower the hips down and just come into your shoulder stand. <laughs> And then if you're into your full shoulder stand, bringing the knees towards the eardrums in here. Coming into Karnapidasana, hugging your legs so then you can stay here. And then placing the hands down, positioning the sole of the feet down again, slowly, slowly coming down, coming down, one vertebra at a time. When you're down, bending the knees, sorry, positioning the sole of the feet down, second bridge, lifting the hips up. You can place also a block underneath the lower back, or you can replace your hands behind your ears and then push into your full wheel or half wheel. So if your head is on the ground, half wheel. If your head is on the, off, the, off the ground, is full wheel in here. One bridge, another bridge, another full wheel. You decide. Rebecca has chosen to kiss the wall. <laughs> Rebecca is kissing the wall, it's okay. Everyone is like, is on their own journey and on their own wheel. <laughs> and then coming down, bringing the knees to swipe, side to side, side to side. <laughs> Rebecca is like a, a Barbie doll. <laughs> it's like, it's amazing, isn't she? <laughs> ah. Swipe, side to side, side to side. And then find your Supta Baddha Konasana, the sole of the feet together, the knees out. Take a deep inhale in here. Ha, exhale it out. Inhale, exhale, release. Well done, guys. No, I actually... I'm so sorry I made a mistake because... I can't dim the lights because <laughs> we are filming. Whoops, I'm going to go back <laughs> into my... <laughs> it always happens. I'm so sorry. I do things that are not meant to be like dimming the lights. <laughs> well, if you can cover your eyes, then it would be even better. <laughs> if you could cover your eyes or close your eyes from here. Take a deep inhale and deep exhale. Inhaling and exhaling, letting all go. So uh, today the, we've done a lot of like a forward folding, a lot of standing postures, not so much on the sitting, but uh, um, quite a lot on the inversion side. So when we work on the inversion side, we work on the strength and think about for a moment how incredible is this body that takes you back to yoga every time, takes you back to your practice, to your mat. 
It doesn't matter how much or how little at the end of the day you do on that practice, but you always end up feeling so much better than when you started in every practice or every time you come back to your mat. So really honoring your body every day and for all the things that your body does to you because it's the perfect machine, it's the perfect engineering machine. Honoring every side of your body, your left side, your right side, your left side, your feminine side, your right side, your, your energetically masculine side, your drive to succeed in anything can be maybe a yoga pose or something else in life. Comes from your right side. But interestingly enough, uh, if we look at your brain, the right side of your brain is the more creative, is the one that uh, in a primitive way can recognize uh, ways that people look at you, can read their body language, is the one responsible for your fight or flight. Uh, so everything in the body is dual. The left side of your brain is your logical side of the brain, is the one that likes to make lists. So how incredible that in our body we are divided in two. And the, especially when we have two sides, uh, the perfect solution is always to keep in mind that uh, we when we can center and ground ourselves uh, is because we can find that balance in between these two systems that work uh, so differently. So think about if you divided your body in right and left, in the middle there is your spine, your spine is connected to the base of your chakra, to the base of your head, to the top of your, yeah, to the base of your head. And that's your present is what keeps, this represents the balance between everything, between the yin and the yang, we, between uh, sadness and happiness, good and bad. So everything is dual, but everything is in balance, everything is created kind of the same on the right and on the left. And then coming back to that intention that you had for your practice today, bringing the hands at the heart center, take a deep inhale, and a deep exhale all out. Inhale and exhale it all out of your mouth. Inhale, Exhale, one humming om, so just a part of the m, like a long, long m. So inhale, mm. and then starting to bring the knees towards the chest, massaging the lower back side to side. Allowing the knees to come all the way in one direction, left side or right side, coming into a fetal position. And then slowly, slowly bringing yourself to any comfortable seated position. When you are into your seated position, placing the hands at the heart center, bowing your head towards your heart, and then turning towards your neighbor. Give them like, wish them a, a good day ahead for the rest of the day. Thank them for the amazing energy. Thank you so much for following from home. See you very, very soon. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you.